US intelligence services recruit spies in Kremlin. Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine gave US intelligence agencies a rare opportunity to recruit Kremlin insiders angry about the war. As the head of the Central Intelligence Agency, Bill Burns, noted last year that dissatisfaction with the war creates a once-in-a-generation opportunity. Recruitment efforts are not a state secret. During the war, the CIA released Russian language videos appealing to Russians dissatisfied with the invasion who had access to information useful to the United States. It underscores the evolution of an intelligence service that has largely carried out its tasks under the cloak of secrecy. The intelligence posts provide step-by-step -step instructions for potential whistleblowers on avoiding detection by using virtual private networks and the Tor web browser to contact the agency anonymously on the so-called dark web, according to CNN. As during the Cold War, espionage remains a vital tool on both sides of the latest conflict, as evidenced by tech-savvy American intelligence agents who are trying to recruit new agents in plain sight, as well as Russian-linked operatives who reportedly have stepped up their activities across Europe, CNN adds. According to Douglas London, the former head of the CIA's overseas division, directly approaching potential informants is an unusual approach, but one that can prove effective. Since the beginning of the full-scale war, Russia has intensified the activity of its spy networks throughout Europe. The latter's task is to commit sabotage, gather the information they need, or undermine support for Ukraine. Russian spies bungled preparations for the war and were then expelled from Europe en masse. But new evidence gathered by the Royal United Services Institute, a think tank in London, shows that they are learning from their errors, adjusting their tradecraft and embarking on a new phase of political warfare against the West. At least four people have died, others are missing and thousands have been forced to evacuate after torrential rain at the weekend caused widespread flooding in Bavaria of Germany. Water submerged streets and highways, broke dams and derailed a high-speed train. The historic city of Regensburg, with a population of 150,000, announced a state of emergency as the water reached a critical point amid fears that record deluges of 2013 and 2002 could be repeated. In the small southwestern town of Ebersbach in Baden-Württemberg, the water pushed through a highway wall. In both Bavaria and Baden-Württemberg over the weekend, several dams broke, in some cases leading to flooding of entire neighborhoods. One of the worst-hit towns in Bavaria was Masching, about 80 kilometers north of Munich. About 800 people were evacuated after a nearby dam burst. The carmaker Audi has suspended production at its Bavarian plant in Ingolstadt because of flooding from the river Danube. Bavarian Minister President Markus Söder said conditions in the region remain critical and tense, with water receding in some places but new flooding and evacuations elsewhere. He noted that water levels are expected to rise in Regensburg and farther down the Danube River. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz, who visited affected areas, said the flooding was a reminder of critical environmental challenges. We cannot neglect the task of halting man-made climate change, he said. Nancy Faeser, who, as Germany's interior minister, is responsible for disaster response, traveled with Scholz. She told local reporters that coordination and organization work much better. The German Weather Service warned of more heavy rain in southern and eastern parts of the country.